Hello, welcome to this short video tutorial on the Ansible host file, otherwise known as the Ansible inventory file, um, but they are both the same thing. So, the Ansible host file is a file within Ansible that tells Ansible where all the devices are that you need to automate. Uh, by default, once you install Ansible, the host file is in slash etc slash Ansible. And you can see here, these are the three files that are installed by default when you install Ansible. And we have one here called hosts. So if we just cut that file, this is the default host file that comes as soon as Ansible was installed. Now you can see that all of the devices in here are commented out and it gives you a rough idea of how to enter hosts. Now they've got some examples. These are ungrouped hosts. Uh, this is a single device either by name or by IP address. And these here are groups of hosts. So all of these hosts are in the group DB servers. So when you run a playbook and you reference the group DB servers, it will then automate all of the devices in that group. Now, most people do not use the default Ansible host file. They will create a custom host file within their local project folder which is what I'm going to show you now. So if we just go to my home drive and in here I've got a folder called demo and you can see I've got two files, the host file and a ansible.cfg file which we'll talk about shortly but let's just look at the host file and you can see the host file for my home lab and what I've got is a group called CSR routers and the first entry here CSR-1 now this is a mix of different options that you can do so this is currently not a valid host file we're going to go through these and show you all the differences of what they are I'm going to edit this in visual code in a minute so that's just going into here so here's that file so we can edit that nice and pretty for you so as I said we've got the CSR routers and that is the name of the group so the first entry CSR-1 is the name of the first router now this name is not resolvable in DNS so you have to put this switch in here so ansible underscore host equals and then the IP address so within my lab environment if I ping CSR1 it's not resolvable in DNS so I have to tell ansible the actual IP address of that device so that goes the same for CSR2 and CSR3 now these are more for demonstration so if CSR1 was resolvable in DNS and home.local was my local DNS I could just put this in and I could ping it so we're going to remove that one for a second the next one CSR-1 so if I could just ping CSR-1 and that would come back with the IP address this would be a valid entry so again we're not going to use that one and also you can just enter the IP address of the device just like this now that's fine that works but when your playbook runs uh, you will only see the IP address pop up in the playbook run because whatever you've got configured in the inventory file is what pops up uh, during the play run. So if you recognize these IP addresses, then that's fine. If you want nice names to show up, then you need to use the CSR-1 and then the Ansible underscore host command at the end. So this one here can be removed as well. And then a second group of devices, I've got one called switches. Uh, this one contains one device and that is switch one and again I've used the Ansible host file. Now there is another command which I'm going to show you and that's children. So if we want to create a group that contains the two groups above we do this lab and then you put a colon and children and within that uh, lab group you define the children of the main group and I can just do this and then this so now I've got a group that's called lab which when I run a playbook against will actually affect 
both of these groups together. So I can either target this group, the CSR routers group, the switches group, or I can target the lab group. So now we've got our custom host file within our demo project folder. So that's the host file. Now, as you can see, I've also got an ansible.cfg file. Now, the reason for that is I'm actually telling Ansible where this host file is, because by default, if I was to run a playbook like this and I hit enter, the default behavior with the default Ansible config file would be to use the host file that was in etc slash Ansible. I would like Ansible to use my custom host file within this project, but at the moment in time, it doesn't know it's there. So there's two ways to do that. You either go minus I and then the name of that host file. So this tells Ansible. So locally here, we're in the same folder. Run this playbook and then use the host file called hosts. The second option, which is what I also do, um, is I created a custom ansible.cfg file. Now let's just have a look at that one. So this is the custom CFG file. Now we won't talk too much about the, the bits down here, but the one we're interested in is this line. So inventory equals dot slash hosts. So this is telling my Ansible that when I run a playbook within this folder, it will use this locable config file and it will also use the local host file. So when I run a playbook here, by default, the first place that Ansible will look for a configuration file will be in the local folder. And in the local configuration file, I've told Ansible to use this host file here. Now, there is a lot more information on the documentation pages of Ansible. So if you just Google Ansible inventory file, uh, this is the page that comes up working with the inventory. Now, this will tell you everything you need to know about the host file and the inventory and how to do it. So there are tons of examples in here. This is explaining the groups. It also talks about how to configure it in a YAML format. We were working in an INI format. Um, so all the information you need is there. So just to clarify, the Ansible host file is the Ansible inventory file. They are one of the same thing. Um, it's referred to as the inventory uh, when you're configuring it, but the default name of the file is called hosts. Um, the name of this file could be anything you want it to be. So if you want your inventory file to be called inventory, then we just rename this file to be inventory and then within the config file, rename that to point to inventory. Or if you want to have multiple host files that you call ad hoc when you need, then you just run the, the minus I, where are we? So when you run the playbook, you just run the minus I switch and then put the in here name of your host file so you can play that and use multiple host files. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And this is just an excerpt from my Ansible for Network Engineers training course. So if you like uh, the content here and would like to learn a lot more, uh, check out the link in the box below and that will take you to the page that will explain this in a lot more detail. So thank you for watching today and uh, have a great day.